German infantry, tasked with clearing the Kessel around Yartsevo, have encountered a Soviet platoon in a small village. The Germans commanded by Tyson will be bringing a medium machine gun and a pregame barrage with their six support points. Meanwhile, Will's Soviets will be bringing a Maxim machine gun, a 76mm regimental gun, an entrenchment, a medic, and a minefield. The Germans are the attackers. They received five free moves at the start of the patrol phase. Force morale for both players is nine. And at the end of the patrol phase, this is what the jump off points look like. Before the first phase, Will places his minefield in the trees near the western German jump off point to deny them cover. The Germans begin the game by placing first squad in the wheat field to the south. They also place second squad in the wheat field to the west. The Soviets respond by immediately rolling a triple six, thus ending the turn and the pregame barrage, after which they place the Maxim in the center building of the village. The Maxim immediately fires at the squad in the wheat field, killing two riflemen and knocking unconscious the senior leader. Not a great start for the Germans. In their second phase, the Soviets bring a squad in to support the Maxim in the building, and also bring in their 76mm regimental gun, trained on first squad in the wheat field to the south. The gun fires a shell, killing one man from the German machine gun team. The German's command roll is three fives, a one, and a three. With the one, they bring in the MG-34 medium machine gun with second squad into the western wheat field. And with the three, they move second squad out of the wheat field and towards the village, thus ending the German phase. The Soviet command roll is five, two, two, three, four. The squad and the Maxim in the building do not have arc onto first squad in the wheat field. The gun does and fires, but does no damage. The German command roll is 33126. With the 1, the mortar comes in to the east of the road. Third squad comes in in support of first squad in the wheat field to the south. Both squads and the mortar fire on the regimental gun. The mortar does nothing, but the direct fire from the squads kills one crewman. With the remaining command dice, second squad continues its advance towards the village. Will's Soviets roll 5-2-2-1-1. With a 2 on the 1, they activate the infantry gun and take a shot at the newly arrived 3rd squad, scoring 1 kill and 1 point of shock. The squad supporting the Maxim in the building exits the rear of the building as well. Then the Maxim leaves the house and redeploys into the front yard. The German command roll is 6 5 4, four 2 with the first four, he deploys the second senior leader into the western wheat field with the machine gun. In the second four, he activates the two squads in the southern wheat field to fire at the gun. The results of the shooting are seven hits, but only causing one point of shock onto the regimental gun. The second senior leader is allowed to reposition to get into range of second squad, which he then orders to move forwards towards the stream. Soviet roll is 11356. Will uses a three to deploy a squad opposite the German second squad on the western side of the board. They fire 11 shots, causing one dead machine gunner in a point of shock and one dead rifleman in a point of shock. The senior leader had failed to put the machine gun on overwatch, so it does not get to return fire. Next, the Soviets deploy their last squad on the far eastern jump off point in the woods with good line of sight to second squad. They unleash a full volley, get one hit, but do no damage. The German command roll is 44156, which gives him a full chain of command dice. With the one, he moves the mortar out of line of sight of the Soviet squad that had left the building earlier. He then has the senior leader order first squad to rush forwards towards the shed. Third squad's rifle team is then ordered to reposition and get online with the machine gun squad in the field and fire on the gun, which causes one casualty. The Feldwebel to the west with the machine gun orders the machine gun to fire at the Soviet squad behind the fence, which causes two points of shock. He then moves forward to get into range of second squad, who he then orders to move with 1d6 in an attempt to get out of line of sight of the Soviet squad in the woods to the east and fire at the Soviets behind the fence. However, due to shock, he is not successful in moving far enough to clear line of sight of the Soviets in the woods to the east. Second squad fires eight shots, causing two points of shock. The Soviets roll a double phase of five and two fours. With the four, the senior leader comes into the center house within good command range of most of the Soviet platoon. He
he orders the gun to fire at first squad in the wheat field. However, the Germans use a chain of command dice to interrupt and fire the gun first, causing one KIA and one shock. The gun is now down to three crew with two shock. The gun returns fire, causing one kill and one point of shock on the first squad. Next, he orders the Maxim to redeploy up to the fence for a better field of view on the Germans in the fields. With his last command, he orders the squad in the woods to fire at second squad, with only the machine gun team visible causing two kills and two points of shock. In his second phase, Will rolls 4-5-1-6. He has a senior leader fire the Maxim gun at third squad, which is in the open to his front, causing three dead and one point of shock. He then has the infantry gun fire at third squad in the wheat field to the south, but does no damage. With his final command, he orders the squad in the woods to again fire at second squad's machine gun team, which eliminates it and drops the German force morale to six. Lastly, the Soviet five centimeter mortar team deploys in the woods. The mortar fires at first squad by the shed, but does no damage. The German command roll is six, five, three, three, four. Before Tyson can activate anything, Will uses his chain of command dice to interrupt with the Maxim and fire at first squad, which does one point of shock per team and kills one of the riflemen. First squad's junior leader then removes a shock and moves his squad into safety out of line of sight of the Maxim. First squad then fires at half effect at the Soviets behind the fence, causing two kills. Third squad is then ordered to fire on the infantry gun, causing one more kill. The Feldwebel then repositions himself to be able to command both the MG-34 and second squad. The Feldwebel then commands the machine gun and second squad to fire at the Soviets behind the fence. The machine gun dealing out three shock, the squad dealing out two dead and one shock, pinning the Soviet squad. Will's command roll allows him to only activate his senior leader, who then orders the squad to move across the street towards the house to make room for the gun to move, which pulls back out of line of sight of third squad. He then orders the Maxim to fire again at third squad, getting six hits and adding one point of shock and three more dead. The German command roll is six one one two four. First, the Feldwebel activates and orders the machine gun to fire at the pinned Russian squad, causing four hits, two dead, and one shock. He then orders second squad to fire at the same squad, causing four more hits and two more dead, which causes the squad to break and fall back across the road. This causes the Soviet force morale to drop to eight. Next, the German 5cm mortar fires at the gun via line of sight from first squad but does no damage. First squad's junior leader seeing an opportunity to drop Soviet force morale again pulls a shock and orders his squad to fire at the broken Soviet squad in the road scoring five hits for one dead and one shock which breaks the squad again and they fall back 15 inches causing Soviet force morale to drop again to five. The Soviet command roll is one one two three five. The first thing that Will does is have his Maxim fire again at third squad in the wheat field causing four hits and killing one more rifleman. The Soviet senior leader activates next. He pulls two shock from the regimental gun and has them fire a shell at first squad by the shed, scoring five hits, causing one dead and two shock, leaving just one man in each team. Next, the Soviet senior leader orders the squad in the woods to advance into the village. The next German command roll is 55311, which gives him another chain of command dice. With the two ones, he has second squad fire at the broken Soviet squad along the board edge, scoring two hits and doing one point of shock, which breaks the squad again, who route off the table. The resulting force morale hit sees the Soviet force morale drop from six to three for junior leader routes and squad breaks, reducing the Soviet command dice by two to three command dice. First squad's junior leader removes one point of shock from the rifle team and orders his squad to fire at the infantry gun causing three hits and two shock. The Soviet command roll is 5-1-1. With the first one, he moves the infantry gun back out of danger from first squad's fire. The Maxim then fires at third squad in the wheat field, scoring seven hits, killing two riflemen, wiping out the team, adding a point of shock to the machine gun, reducing German force morale to five. The German command roll is 5-4-2-1-1. First squad tries to pull back from the fence to get out of line of sight from the Soviet squad, but doesn't make it two inches from the fence. 
Meanwhile, the Felvel will put the MG-34 on Overwatch and orders second squad to move up to the fence, while himself advancing to join them. What's left of third squad then fires at the Maxim, scoring two hits with no effect. The Soviet command roll is 643. With the four, the Soviet senior leader activates the Maxim to fire at third squad. However, the Germans interrupt, firing first, getting two hits and killing one of the Maxim crew. The returning Maxim fire only gets three hits, but does kill one of the machine gun team. Third squad then breaks and routes off the table, dropping German force morale to two. Next, the senior leader removes the two points of shock from the infantry gun, while the Soviet squad on the road activates and the junior leader pulls the point of shock. The Germans roll 4-4-1 with their three command dice. The Feldwebel orders second squad over the fence. And with their line of sight to the Maxim now, from second squad, the German mortar fires, killing another crewman. The German lieutenant then activates with the second four. He moves the last rifleman from first squad into the machine gun team, and then he has them pull back from the fence. The Soviet command roll is 5-5-3, five, five, and in a desperate move, the squad in the road charges into second squad. A desperate struggle ensues. The Soviets have 12 dice, the Germans have 15 dice. The Germans score 5 hits while the Soviets score 7. For the Germans, the Feldwebel is wounded, the squad leader is knocked out, and the rest of the squad is wiped out, dropping German force morale to zero. The Soviets lose only five men and suffer three shock, but lose no force morale. In the end, the Soviets hold on for a close victory, retaining a force morale of three while dropping the German force morale to zero. Both sides suffered severe losses, but in this game there can only be one victor, and today it is Will. And his Soviets. Tyson did a good job and was close to pulling it off, but in the end, the desperate charge and the good rolling on Will's part sealed the deal. And that'll be it for this game. Thanks to both players for participating, and we'll see you guys next time.